Hey there friends, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate. So for today's video, I am filming classroom setup part four. I am just pounding out these classroom setup videos. If you haven't already seen my whole setup series for the 2021-2022 school year, I'll be sure to have all the videos linked down below. That will be my empty classroom tour, classroom setup days one and two, classroom setup days three, and then classroom setup days four and five. So, so far I've already done my front board, this side wall, I did my whole library in my previous video. I also set up our student work display and another large bulletin board in the back of my classroom. And today I am finally tackling one of the biggest disasters in my classroom, which is my back counter. And that's gonna end up being my student center and also my teacher workspace and like my teacher desk. So that is what this video is going to be for today. It is Saturday right now, so I just posted a costume setup this morning and that is my library setup. And then we have students starting to come. Our first day of school is on Wednesday. So I'm pretty much gonna be in here all weekend and then also on Monday and Tuesday, just getting all the last minute things dialed in on my classroom. And then also obviously prepping for the first few days of school. So lots of fun things are coming between classroom setup and also the first day of school and the first week of school vlogs. So if you aren't already, make sure to hit the red button down below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the beginning of the year content that is coming very soon. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around, show you the disaster that I'm working with, show you my game plan, and then just really get to work. Like I said, it's Saturday, it's about 12 o'clock right now. I wanted to take my morning to sleep in, um, but I'm hoping to just spend like the next like six hours here just like getting things done. Um, Hopefully I won't have too many distractions. I have like a really solid plan in my head. So hopefully I can execute it quickly um, and efficiently. <laughs> okay, so here is everything that's happening over here. So my first plan is obviously going to be to take everything off of this back counter and just kind of put it probably into different organized piles on all the desks and then I can really start organizing it. I know that pretty much from like here over is going to be my teacher area. So I have my toolbox and my um, printer. And then I also will have like a whole crate of my files for the week and just things that I need close by. And then from here over is going to be our student center. So I have mailboxes, I have extra supply caddies, I have just all that good stuff. So that is where everything else will be over here. I just cleared off pretty much everything. I have my whole teacher area. I'm still working on like assembling my teacher toolbox in the way that I want it, but I think this is probably how my little station will be. So I'll have my printer, my teacher toolbox, my um, phone, my personal <laughs> really good sharpener that the kids aren't supposed to use. This is probably going to be my whole like copies for the day. I like to make copies for the week. So this is where the weekly copies will go for everything. And then every morning I'll take out everything that I need for the day and just have it right there. So that way I can just walk around with the basket and hand them out to kids um, and not have to like mess around in the file cabinet. And then down here, I just have the um, like fine pencil sharpener that the kids can use if they need it. Um, I'll probably have like a pencil manager and he will or she will sharpen the pencils. And then I'm gonna have my turn in bin and then any extras um, like scrap pieces of paper that they can use will just go in here. So I got my mailboxes delivered, but I didn't realize that I had to build them. So I have to build them right now. I ended up kind of bawling out a little bit on the mailboxes just because I have seen people use the cardboard ones. Um, like I've seen people on Instagram and YouTube use them. And I've also seen people use them in my personal life. Um, and they just don't like, they're still pretty expensive just for cardboard ones. They're like $50, I think for the cardboard ones. And they just don't like last very well from year to year. So I just felt like it seemed like a lot to spend if they weren't gonna last wooden ones. And they're like a hundred dollars, but they're gonna last forever and they're like really nice quality. So I just decided to bite the bullet and do that. So that way I know that my mailboxes are always gonna stay good. I can clean them with a wet wipe, you know, um, because they're, they're wood. So I think that was just a good investment for me, but I need to build them and then I'm gonna put them up here. 
Okay, so I built it. It took a little bit of time, but it wasn't very hard. It's just like a lot of little pieces. So it's gray, but that's okay. I was actually thinking about painting it white, but it's on this gray counter and it actually just kind of like blends in really nicely. So I'm liking that. Um, and now I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want everything to go and like how I want everything to be laid out right here. Okay, so here's what we've got going. I obviously need to change my letter board. It won't say that, but it will say something else. And then I have a little diffuser. I have all of my like organized things for student data to or to store that. Um, same is going on over here. I have a couple more things to put in there, highlighters and rulers pencils and then right here they're gonna have their reading groups um folders so yellow and red ones and then blue and green ones will go right here and then they'll be able to come grab those when we do reading groups i am gonna have my little crayon hotel right here but i need to go run to target and grab the sterilite container for that and then i have my whiteboards and then it starts to become my teacher area so copies for the week copies for the day and all of this stuff that I already told you about. And then I'm gonna move on to this section right here. So I'm gonna have a black bulletin board right here with like important things that I need to know on there um, and some file folders. And then right here, I have really cute framed art prints that I will show you guys. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. To just get tired chasing fame. Okay, so I put it up. You will notice that I did not have enough border to actually make it match all the borders, but I'm excited about it because the doodle border is my favorite. So um, I'm happy to have it over here in my little teacher area. So that's what we've got going on. And then I have these plastic like folders. One of my biggest problems last year was just like paper organization and creating piles. And I just had a ton of piles like all over my teacher area and it stressed me out. So I'm hoping that I can get these up there, two of them. And then this will hold a bunch of my papers. But the problem is I'm not sure how to attach it. So they came with screws, but I'm not allowed to drill screw screws into these like beautiful like new walls. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get it up there. I know that last year I tried to attach something to bulletin board paper with command strips and it, it didn't work because the paper is not like sturdy enough. It will just get ripped off. So I'm thinking that I'm going to just put tacks like through these little holes in the back and then it will just be supported by tacks. So we'll see if that works. I would hate for them to like come crashing down and rip everything else down, but so far this is my best idea. Hey, I'm excited. I think it worked out. I might actually need to move it over a little bit, but I'm gonna do this one and then also another one down here. Okay, so here we go. It looks really cute. I put the other white border around it and then I just have a few things going on. So I just attached both of these with the um, tacks that I showed you and that worked out really well. So if I go to staff meetings or if we have papers or something, I can put them in here. Everything else will just be able to kind of go in here and I can go through it, but it will be like not on my counter space. So it has a space. And then over here, I haven't printed them out yet, but I'm going to have like my class roster and like their names and everything. And then right here, I'm going to have like our bell schedule and um, like a little version of our like year at a glance calendar. I'm gonna move on to this little area right here. And then I just got all of these in a bundle from TPT from Sanders in second. And I'm just gonna figure out which ones I wanna use. So I really liked um, these six. And then I'm only planning on putting four up here just so it's not like too, too busy. So I'm just gonna figure out which ones I actually want to put up there. I'm kind of leaning towards these like multicolor ones. I really like these four. Um, these these four right here. So I'm gonna put them in the frames and see how they look. And then this one, I think I'm actually gonna put in my library. Being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun. 
you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like i probably could have gone a lot bigger in terms of size but i really didn't know how big this part of the wall was but i think it looks really cute i've tried to center them and get them as straight as possible this bottom one is giving me some trouble so i'll have to fix that but overall this little area is coming together so i have my teacher station and then i'm still working on some of this stuff and then my student center and then now i'm going to take a little pause and come back to my affirmation station which is going to go right here you can do better so much better still have like a nice little trunk at the bottom so I'm gonna have to go make some more tonight but they look really cute I'm so excited I just have always wanted like a really awesome affirmation station and this one is even more special because I made all of them so I'm just really excited for my kids to stand right here and also when I take cute pictures, there's like, <laughs> it actually looks really cute. It's looking really, really good in here. It's the first time that it's looked organized enough to like almost like look like a completed classroom. So I'm really thrilled about that. I'm making my to-do list for what I need to do tomorrow to like get this whole area ready to go because I really want my biggest focus on Monday and Tuesday to just be like getting ready for students, like getting their supplies together in all of their caddies um like printing out everything like making our schedule for the first few days and i don't want any classroom stuff after tomorrow so i'm gonna come in tomorrow i have plenty of hours tomorrow to get stuff done um and i'm really just gonna like power it out so i had my to-do list and it's very long and it's getting longer but if you're a teacher you know how that goes i'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like right now and then i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow i'm getting rid of both of these blue rolling cabinets um just because i don't have a need for them and they take up quite a bit of space so that is just like what's going on with that and then I got my little blue chair today. Um, well, I got it yesterday, but I brought it in today. And then I'm gonna finish up figuring out this whole system and set up tomorrow. This is some of the organization that I started doing. So I have all of these blue containers and then I started putting them away. So that these are gonna be math manipulatives and then just like extra storage and supplies. And I love how nicely these are fitting in there, but I'm gonna do my voice levels tomorrow and my objectives board tomorrow as well. This is the area that you saw me work on today. So that is looking really good. My student center that still is gonna have some improvements tomorrow that I need to change and add. And then my affirmation station that again, I still need to add a couple more of these, but overall that's looking really cute. So just from this angle, hopefully someone will come take these wires at some point. And then I just have a little bit more organization to do with all of this stuff, but it's looking really, really good. Hey there friends, welcome back. So it is the next day now, it is Sunday. It is about 10 o'clock, 10.30 right now. And like I said yesterday, I want this to be my last day that I'm doing like classroom things. Pretty much, I'm hoping that I can be done with all my classroom things by like one or two o'clock today. And then I can just start really like planning for the week and thinking about like how I want things to be run. Just because I've spent so long just doing classroom things. And at this point, like time is tick ticking. <laughs> Wednesday is our first day of school. And I'm ready to just like have the classroom be what it is. And if there's things that I want to like continue adding, I can later on, but it doesn't need to be like a big priority at this point anymore. Okay, so at our school, we're required to post like weekly standards that we're working on. So this is gonna be that board. Um, and then I just really quickly like sketched it out um, and then used some papers just to like 
uh, organize it in place. I definitely will not be writing <laughs> standards every single day or every single week on the board. I just know I won't. So I'm going to spend some time making um, like a PDF version of them and then I can just like post up the pages every day or every week um, just because there's no way I'm going to want to write on the whiteboard and then I'm going to map it out with electrical tape or I already mapped it out and then I'm going to tape it off with electrical tape and then on this side I'm going to put a little vinyl with my Cricut of each subject so we're going to have reading, writing, math, and social studies because we have a science teacher so that is what that's looking like. If I want let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to like than being pretty. Honey, let's just face it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time. All right, so I have my voice levels up. They look pretty good. I meant to spray them and I still might spray these ones, but honestly, the glare really isn't that bad. So I might just keep it. Right now, I just have them hung up with these black magnets um, just because I tried to hang them up with tape last year and they just kept falling off. So I'll probably think of something better, but right now this is all I've got and it looks fine. Um, like getting these pieces and then I'm trying to figure out like how I want it to look like our learning or look what we're learning or what I want for there. And then I also hung up our thinking maps up there. So this little area is looking good. It's starting to come together. And then I'm probably gonna get our social emotional learning poster to go right there. I did get this cutie chair. I'll have it linked down below. I love it. Um, really comfy and it's like cute and small so it doesn't take up too much space and it's nice and low. So I'm like on the kids level, which is great. So I'm moving on to my number line. This is the number line I got and I already laminated it and cut it and spray painted it. And I'm just trying to figure out where it's going to fit. So I could put it along this back part but I'm worried that it's not gonna fit because it's numbers one to a hundred. And then I was thinking maybe I could put it all along here um, just because like there's a lot of space right there. Okay, so it did fit. It looks pretty cute up there. I'm excited about it. And then that is from Basic Life of Brooke and it actually goes until 150. So it is kind of annoying that I still have that little chunk over there, but if I kept going, it would cut off at like 108 or something which just seems weird so i'm just gonna keep it like this if you watched my classroom prep video you know that i kind of had a problem with the alphabet because the font um was just not super legible for primary kids my students are seven um so they're definitely going to need to know the correct letter formation so i just <laughs> made, printed it out um, with really nice basic font and then I honestly just like glued them right over top. I had already gotten these printed out and laminated and spray painted them matte and I was just not gonna have not gonna do that again just to have a different um, letter on them. So I think it actually looks really good. You can't even really tell. There's a little bit of hot glue at the bottom, but you can't even really tell that it's not all one thing. And I think really once it's hung up on the wall, it won't be too bad. I probably was just gonna put it like exactly where this one was, but I don't love that the clock is in the middle of the way. But yeah, I also, it's funny cause I also have a clock over here. So I'm almost thinking about just not having a clock right there and just putting it straight across and then only having one clock in my room because I honestly don't know why there are two um, and that's just a little bit excessive and I think it will actually fit a lot better here if I don't have to break it up. Looks like you can't do better, so much better. This took me over an hour, but it's done. I don't know if you can tell, but somewhere around Q, P, Q, R, S, it starts to getting a little bit higher. Um, and I've tried so many times. I've taken it off, I've redone it, I've taken it off again, I've redone it again, and I just can't seem to make it happen. 
All right, <laughs> 20 more minutes and an additional attempt later, it is done. It's almost perfect. I think it is pretty much as good as it's gonna get at this point. I moved them all down a quarter of an inch and now they're all lined up. So it looks really good. I'm happy with it. It was honestly gonna bother me if it wasn't almost straight. So there's still something going on with STU, but that's fine. <laughs> so it has been quite a while since I last updated you about my alphabet. It is 4.30 right now. I said that I was going to be done with classroom stuff by like 1.30 or 2 and that obviously did not happen but that's okay because I'm pretty much done now. I think I'm going to end this video so I'm going to show you everything that we got done. I still have a few like uh, last minute things like I still have to add the star student up here, accountable talk up here, um, and just a few other things before it's like 100% done. So as I kind of do those last things, I'll probably just compile all of them into the final classroom setup video. But this was classroom setup part four. I got a lot done. Now that I like cleaned everything off and I'm just like looking at everything, it looks so good. So I am really happy about that. Here is this little area. Still have a few things to do, but for the most part, it's looking good. I'm gonna have like some pencils and erasers and stuff in here. And then our like mentor text can sit along the top. Um, and then in the bottom, I just have a little thing of math manipulatives, whiteboards, and then those dry erase sleeves so I can put like 10 frames or um, place value charts in there for math. And then I have little whiteboard erasers and whiteboard markers, my smart cookies, um, our doorbell, that's gonna go on my lanyard, and then a little timer. And I have my chair. I hung up both of these. I can't find my um, hole punch, so I'm still working on getting the today is up there. So this whole area is looking good. I organized math, manipula math manipulatives and supplies in there. I still don't know what I'm doing with this white cart. Um, I'll probably just do it like with various supplies for small groups. I have our voice levels and they're already falling off. If anyone has a trick to like make these actually stay up there, I used a ton of command strips and they fell off last year and now they're already falling off this year. So that's just annoying. Um, and then I have our learning targets. So those will go there when I'm done with it. And then we have my little back area right here with our thinking maps, my like admin kind of stuff. And then these cutie little posters. And then this is still like a work in progress, all of my stuff, but like that's totally fine. And then here we go. So this is our little student center. I do want to make a banner at some point that says student center, but that's not like a huge priority right now. Hoping that someone comes to get these at some point. And then I finished my affirmation station. So I finished, I made a couple more of the um, little affirmations and that is how that is looking. So just an overview from this side. Overall, it looks really good. It's officially like if kids came, that would be fine. Um, and I'm really excited because I have a pretty small class so far. Um, so we max out at 24, I only have 20. So that means I have these two extra desks that I still don't need. So I'm really excited about that because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm gonna have like this whole area right here and back here. Um, so we're definitely still going to be able to do carpets, socially distanced, and like small groups over here. And I'm going to have like a ton of room. So I'm really, really, really excited about that because I thought they would have to sit at their desks and be like cramped with no space. But we have plenty, plenty, more than enough space over here. And then also because of my like library, I have plenty of space over here. This desk is also gonna go, and then I have like all of this, so I am definitely not short on space in this classroom. All right, my friends, so that's gonna be it for today's video. This was Classroom Setup Part Four. If you are not caught up and you cheated and watched this one without watching the other ones, make sure to check them out. I will have a whole playlist of my classroom setup for the 2021-2022 school year linked down below. 
Um, and I'm just really excited. A lot of people have asked me if I will be vlogging the first day and the first week, and yes, I will. Since we're starting on Wednesday and we just have like two minimum days and then the Friday, I'll probably just do like the first days of school. And then I will be vlogging like the second full week of school and showing you what we're doing. But for now, my classroom is looking really, really cute. Really excited about it. It's, a, it's cute, but also functional. Everything in here has a purpose and I'm very happy about that. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please Please make sure to hit the red button down below and subscribe to my channel and like this video while you're down there so that way YouTube knows that you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone!